I'm holding Legos Porsche's 911 RSR from the Technique theme sets. This was first launched in January of 2019 and it's still a pretty hot popular buy. It was actually demanded so much because of the smaller speed champions that they made was probably a year before. It came with another 1970s, I'll show that later. And just to let you know, in comparison, in size. Now I'm gonna go over all the special pieces, nicely details of this amazing race car build for Legos. This is the entire Porsche without any of the panels on. Bare metal as if it was a real car, a real race car. This is the cockpit. There is no other seat because it is a race car. Sitting directly behind is the Boxer Flat 6. Functioning with the piston pushing in and out. I thought it was a pretty nice detail. This is a racing seat with the head support, neck support. Steering wheel column. The little details they put, which is, it's marked at six gear probably, you know? Going at high speeds in this car, of course. Right next door, you have all your computer functions. I'm assuming that'll be the radio if you were to go into the pit stop lane, along with some other, hmm, I guess functions you will need for your engine. Anything else that would be happening. The rigidity of the frame is pretty actually accurate. Suspension is pretty whole. Really stiff. Let's see the engine work one more time. And that is the inside of the Porsche 911 RSR. After reviewing all the internal pieces, now we're going to look at the exterior details, starting with opening doors, door handles, mirrors, a nice roll bar look, features the race car details, quarter panels, give it more stand, opening rear latch. Now looking at the front of the car, a very unique way to put this Lego piece that doesn't get used often as the headlights with the brand new LED four light bulb look. The car sits pretty low in the front, nothing underneath here. Now we're looking at the rear of the vehicle, which is an absolute masterpiece to look at. Huge spoiler rear wing, whatever you like to call it, along with the diffuser underneath and the center exhaust outlet, which gives this a very strong race car look. As you can see, all the details that make this car as what it is. Here's a bird's eye view of the car with Porsche Saints straight across from the wing. So you can take a closer look and you can pop this open. And still visually see all the working components of the engine and transmission. The only thing I did notice on this display, there is no steering wheel function to actually have the wheels turn in your direction, as opposed to other larger models that do include some uh, steering little gear on top of the cars. This one does not have it. Well, there you have it. I went over all the details and special pieces that this build has and 
this is my review on it. If Porsche was to make another Lego set, I would buy it again. This is definitely part of the collection. It's a must have. Was it that much unique and different from other techniques? Yes and no. This was pretty straightforward, simple, because it is a race car. You gotta remember that. There's nothing to be underneath the hood. There's nothing to be in the back seats. Engine does its full purpose job, what it is. It was very light and easy to create the bumpers and the fenders. So yeah, a lot of people probably complain that they could have done more. But then again, the last GT3 RS, which was pretty much the inspiration to all the new Technique themes, was too complicated. Everyone said the PDK was way difficult. Uh, that Lego set has actually doubled because it's been retired, along with this original one was the first one before this. This is now a retired set. These have tripled in price, which was what, 20 bucks when this probably came out. It's now going for 80 plus brand new. Uh, what else is going on with this? It's, uh, this is 150, the, the GT3 RS was 300. So would you pass up this car to build? No, it's a Porsche, it's a RSR. You would enjoy this build. As it being a collector item, in the near future, just like the last GT3 RS, I don't think so. Um, there just wasn't a very special touch to the overall build. Now, if I was to rate this at a you know zero being a gopher in your backyard, ruining your nice grass, uh, to a ten being the most beautiful horse you can see in the wild. I would definitely give this probably the softest calf skin you can find on a cow. Yeah, that's where I would probably rate it at. And that's where I stand. So, thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Comment, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, or else I will break all your Lego sets. Until next time, have fun, guys.